Hello there. So my name is Utkars. So in this today video, we are going to see how to create uh, this sidebar component of YouTube. So we are going to create this sidebar component with the Next.js and Tailwind CSS. So here I have I have created a folder for sidebar. So in that folder folder in so in that folder. Uh, Let's open a CMD. After that, uh, we are going to install uh, Next.js app. For that, just Google create Next app. And copy the command from Here. and uh, we have already created a folder name so that's why we will put it dot there so for now we will just make it everything as a default so now our project is uh, successfully created now let's open it into a VS Code. Let's see the index file. Main page. So this is our main page. So let's start our project. So in that uh, I am using a PNPM. You can also use a uh, yarn or npm. There is no issue in that. So in my localhost server 3001, something is running. So let's close this. Now again. So my server is started on localhost uh, 3000 port. Let's open it. Let's port. Okay, let's remove everything. We don't need anything of this. So for now, let's take an empty div and give it to a low world. Also, and also we also don't need the this global styling. So, for now our app it's look like this. So, what we are going to create in this video, our objective is to create that sidebar component or uh, whenever user will click on that sidebar menu button this will collapse and when this again and when again the user will click on that uh, button this will toggle and also we our target is to create that uh, like home or sorts or home sorts or uh, subscription type buttons so the <coughs> So the when the user will click on that like home button, this will this will redirect to the home page. Or if the user will click on sorts page, so this will redirect us to a sorts page like that. So let's uh, start uh, first. Start with the sidebar component. So let's create a file sidebar but uh, now I'm going to use in this project a uh, type script so this will help us to for types and this also gives a proper suggestions if we got any errors and also uh, I haven't created this uh, sidebar component for this video now on uh, I'm going now I'm going to create uh, this uh, first time 
so let's see how it will go So let's import this side the component here. And support it server content. Okay, so you make it use client here. Okay, so first of all what do we need to create first of all uh, we need that uh, menu button okay also add a class name to give uh, like bg gray let's uh, text right and give some width let's uh, suppose 400 pixel and for now we will give height to a minimum minimum height should be screen okay i think 400 is more so let's make it 350 and here uh, we will add a menu button so let's grab the menu button from react icons okay i think this looks fine and also we need to install the react icons so for that we will use this code there and open a new terminal after that i'm using a pnpm so you can also directly paste it like that npm like that there will be no issue there okay let's install uh, with normal npm okay so now it's installed now let's again start our development server and also we also need to import this icon from react icons okay. we can import uh, this icon like this react icons slash ai okay. we also need to add from So in the react icons, uh, we have a uh, like naming convention to import anything. Uh, whatever the icon name, uh, like uh, this icon name is AI outline menu. So we need to add AI in there. Okay. Let's refresh and see. So we got the the new icon there let's give some padding there or maybe this is fine and also increase the size of the icon so we will make it uh, by like this let's try 2xl okay 2 i think 2xl is fine Okay, so we have successfully created the icons after that our target is to create a sidebar uh, like this so first of all we have a uh, icon after that we have label so we'll create a section in that uh, firstly we have icon icon and after that there should be a level so for the icon we will create another div 
and give some fixed width and height first of all add the home icon to test so we will again get uh, this icon from react icons and or let's take some other icons i think this is fine also import to this icon so this will be like And what is the label? Label is the home. So we got uh, this one. Okay, let's style this. We will add a flex. Okay. Firstly, let's add uh, some margin bottom there. So margin bottom like uh, 4 I think this is 4 is not enough let's uh, make it uh, 10 ok and here uh, what we will do we will center the icons icon and labels so we will make it item center and justify center I think not not justify center. Okay, justify center is I guess no. And also increase the text of the icon. So what we will do? We will add a text pxl or maybe two xl and get to excel is fine and also we will give some uh, width will be like uh, 40 pixel let's see the how much area it's covering Okay, let's make it a 50 pixel width and height should be auto I guess uh, here we also need to decrease the width Okay, so what we need now? We need something when the user will click on that uh, sidebar. Sidebar menu button, so this will collapse. So for that uh, we will use a use state hook so for now we are, we are going to add the name something like sidebar is sidebar open and uh, set sidebar let's import the use state hook And by default, this value should be false. And after that, what we will do? Here, uh, we will. We also need a CL, CLSX library and a Tailwind merge library. So let's install it both 
okay so yes so we got uh, the this cm utility function there so we need to install these two libraries let's install it npm i clsx and tailwind merge so these are successfully installed so here uh, we will use cn for conditional classes let's import this okay so now what we need to do we want like when the user will click on that icon so this will collapse and we will just only show a home icon so and also just make a uh, bit uh, like okay let's make it a bit uh, auto Okay, so uh, by default width will be 250 and if sidebar is closed so if the sidebar will be closed so what uh, we want we want to make it with like it will be make it suppose 100 pixel or make it to uh, maybe 50 pixel or give the padding let's give the width to maybe 65 okay so when the user will click on that uh, menu so we want on click and we will make it to that sidebar toggle and uh, what we will do if the sidebar is open then width will be 250 otherwise so this will look like this we also need uh, animation there so for the animation we will use auto animate auto anim auto animate this thing. and we we can install this by simply copy this and pim install after that uh, we can use simply like this 
firstly we will import uh, that use auto animate after that uh, we will create variable for this one and where we need animation we will just copy and paste this so here our uh, variable is changing and uh, here we need some kind of animation so we will pass this here so we also need uh, cursor pointer so see we will we get uh, easy auto animate there <coughs> okay so now we will convert uh, this into a component so let's create a component into a component sidebar item and this will return this <coughs> and after that we need this auto animate there and we need to pass a sidebar menu item there from that parent component so what uh, things we need to pass we need firstly we need we need a state is sidebar open and uh, after that we need uh, icon for uh, like home icon, sorts icon, subscriptions icons so icon after that uh, we need a label and icon should be type of react node and this should be type of boolean so let's pass these there and create the types for this so this will be boolean type and this will be a react node so this will be react dot react node type and the label will be a string type now we just need to put these values there so this is icon sorry table and uh, here need a icon and also pass this class to there So we need this home icon there and for the label we need a home so see uh, i have created uh, this sidebar component sidebar item component and inside that uh, i have just passed these props and now uh, this is working fully fine see so like that uh, we can just simply add uh, more items but now here if you will see you're not getting much proper styling firstly change the name and icon for these ones 
so like uh, think we will add a subscription subscription and find out the real cycle uh, there So which icon is matching to that subscriptions? Okay, for now uh, I'm just taking like any item, any uh, React icons. You can put it as you like, and also let's import uh, this icon. Sorry, we need this item there. Uh, let's take it library or maybe history. Okay, so let's import that uh, history icon. Now uh, let's see this output. Okay, uh, let's uh, make in a proper alignment. So I will create a section for that. After that, I will create to a flex flex call, and I will get some gap to like G. Okay, now this looks fine, and we are also getting some proper uh, animations. Also, add a cursor pointer to there. And we can also pass the <clears throat> we can also pass the link like uh, if the user will if the user will click on home icon so this will go to the if the user will click on home section so this will go to the home page or if the user will click on history page so this will go to the history page so for that we can use a link tag and inside that we need to pass a href and after that we need to pass that href from there like this so we can use href and pass it to all of them So if you see in the bottom, for now, if you see in the bottom, so for now I'm getting just only local host, and you can easily toggle that uh, sidebar component. So I hope you have liked this video, this uh, simple sidebar component. If you want some more complex or React related things, you can comment below. I will try my best uh, to simplify that thing until until then see you next time